Hi, this is Matthias from Ammoworld and in this After Effects tutorial about automation blocks for After Effects, I want to show you what is possible with reading and writing text properties like changing the font or the font size, fill outline, uh, all these kinds of properties. Um, I must admit that in this first release of automation blocks, the possibilities for this are a little bit limited, but there is definitely some things that you can do and let me walk you through those. So first of all, um, with layer properties, you typically set and get the value of text or of any properties, right? So you would expect you could get and set the source text. Now, if we say get the attribute value of um, source text of this here, of this source text property, and if we run this script and check the result of this in the console, then you can see the re execution result. So the value of this is just the text itself. So you just get the text, which is most of the time what you need, and you never get all the style details uh, and character settings and all of this from it. So you cannot read any more than the text from it with this value. However, this is different if we work with keyframes. So if we set here a keyframe, and now we go to keyframes, and say we want to read here the keyframe details of this with this. Refresh. Now you can see I get a huge kind of JSON data structure here and this is very hard to read in here. So let me just copy this and I've got open here a JSON editor. You can really use anything to format your JSON but you can go to this URL here and uh, paste your data here and then I just click on process to give it some nice formatting and now I can see a little bit more what this is doing. Um, and this looks pretty uh, ugly, it's just a JSON representing arbitrary text keyframes and we've got just one keyframe here and what we are interested in is this value. Yeah, this part starting from here to here. And here you can see that all of this contains the full detail of this text, the text itself, which is this one, uh, and some general is text document uh, thing for technical reason. But then you have got, if there is fill enabled, if stroke is enabled, the font that is used, that it's using the font size, the justification tracking leading and the fill color. And uh, now, what you can do is you can select this entire cop or copy this entire part here, command C. And now, if you want to set the value uh, of a text, let's let's say we go to this text here and give it some entirely different uh, whatever uh, font. Yeah. And now we go to the layer properties and say set attribute value. Um, of this source text, yeah, and um, the property value you could paste in here a simple text, and I use a multi-line text because I want to use this later. So if if I just set this here to foo, run, so you can see it just changes the text, but the font size and everything stays the same, uh, and 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 the, and the f font itself. But if I paste in here the JSON data that I had uh, in the editor. Yeah, and now I go here. Whoops. In here, I just change this text here. New text, and I run this. Oh, now it takes this entire thing, and this is because I copied the, the wrong part. I actually just want to delete this value part here. I just need the part from this curly bracket here to this curly bracket here. This is this is a part that I need just from here to here also without a comma I need to copy it okay so it's just the text data itself and if I run this you can see now it sets it to new text with exactly those settings so setting it to the font large or black setting it to the font size uh, uh, 89 and so on. And this is now a normal text. This means you can really um, modify it with the text blocks too. So you can, for example, say replace in this entire thing maybe the fonts. Maybe we want to control the font size independently. We put here dollar one, and maybe we also want uh, to control the text itself. So we put in here. Uh, dollar three okay 
And now I could put dollar one, which is our uh, font size. I can set this to 100, for example. And then the text, uh, I set to yet another text. So what's happening now is in this text, the dollar three, which is a text, will be replaced by, oh, I want to have dollar two here, of course. The dollar two will be replaced by this one, and the dollar one, which will be, so the font size, will be replaced by 100, and then this entire thing is applied to my uh, text. Run script, and now you can see it updates the font size is 100, the, the font is this one, the text itself is this one, and so on. So, in other words, again, if you want to set text values with a particular font and all these details here, um, then you can do this by first getting the value you want uh, with a keyframe and reading the keyframe data with a keyframe list block. Then I recommend you to format this with something like a JSON data formatter. Isolate just the value part of the keyframe and then this one you can use as a text that you can use uh, in such a setting here to set uh, the text of the text layer, including all the styling details. I know it's a dirty hack. Uh, it's the best you can do for now with automation blocks, and I hope it helps you. This is Matthias from marmoworld.com, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next automation blocks tutorial.